Hello, everyone, my friends. I'm from China. Now, uh, this uh, class, I will share some about uh, uh, traditional Chinese Tai Chi. So our uh, top, our subject is about uh, uh, traditional Tai Chi. So we just uh, wait a few minutes uh, waiting some people coming our uh, living show, then I will start to uh, uh, to share. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 也可以嘛。换点音乐，你说。嗯，别动镜头。<clears throat> okay, let's we start. Uh, first, I will introduce myself. Who am I? That's a philosoph philosophy question. Uh, I'm from China. My name is uh, David Yang. My Chinese name is Yang Da Wei. Yang is my family name. Da Wei is my uh, given name. Uh, I practice Tai Chi for 25 years. And uh, this year is my, uh, I am 37 uh, years old. So from 12, uh, I practice, I try, I learn, start to learn Tai Chi. And my family is a Tai Chi family from my grandparents and my parents, they practice Tai Chi every day. So, uh, okay. Uh, my job is uh, study Tai Chi and uh, practice Tai Chi and the teaching Tai Chi. So we have a Tai Chi school in China. Every year, um, about uh, more than uh, 1,000 to 1,000 people from all, all over the world, they come to China and to learn uh, traditional Tai Chi. That's my job. So today I will introduce uh, um, friends what is the Tai Chi, what the key point about traditional Chinese Tai Chi. So Tai Chi is a become popular sport in the world. And uh, every country, they, we can find some people practice Tai Chi in different uh, park, different place. But uh, in China, Tai Chi divides many, how to say, branch. Uh, they divided, divide, we divided Tai Chi about uh, six um, different uh, uh, styles, different, uh, they from six uh, family branch. So uh, for the traditional Tai Chi, only have one thought, but uh, the form, the, the, the form and uh, uh, how to say, the form is different. So in the beginning, I practice Tai Chi is more uh, like uh, uh, soft and uh, slowly, but some Tai Chi are, has a, a, a very strong power, you know. So for, uh, from my study, the 
Tai Chi, what is the Tai Chi? It's uh, um, including two parts. One is yin and yang always cooperate and uh, together they can change each other. Another thought is about uh, uh, all of the Tai Chi, they follow the principle of nature. So that's the um, two elements about uh, Tai Chi thought. Mm, okay. Uh, when we practice Tai Chi, we, what uh, we are training, what we are training, not the, just uh, for the body, not just uh, for the mind. The purpose we practice Tai Chi is about uh, how to um, find the connection between your uh, nervous system and your consciousness. That is very important. We from the different movement to practice the ability of that connection between your nervous system and your consciousness. So when we practice, we always, uh, how to say, focused on our movement, our feeling about uh, the, your weight and uh, about your chi and about your in inner uh, power, how to cross your body. So when we do some movement, the first relaxed, try to find your body down to the earth, down to the earth. Then we use the inner power from your legs, cross your body to your arms. When you finish this movement and uh, another part inside, you know, for the Tai Chi, we divided two parts. One is Yang, another is Yin. One is like uh, a white, another is like uh, black. So yin and the yang always like a circle. They can uh, change each other. They can always cooperation, be, cooperate with each other. So when we do this movement, your inner strength, strength it's a belong yang side. And your qi, qi is uh, also a complex uh, concept in China. So qi is uh, belong to the yin part. So when we do this movement, the inner power from the legs cross your body to your arms, that it belongs to yang. And when you almost finished this movement, your qi sink down, down to the ground. Because in the next movement, next uh, movement, we use down to the, the qi, down to the earth, then change become the inner power from the legs, then to the arms, then relax down to the earth. Then push. When you push, the inner strength is like a circle from your back and uh, to your arms, then down to the earth. So every Tai Chi movement is like a circle. It's like a circle. So when we practice you this, uh, with this, uh, follow this uh, principle, then you will. Uh, practice your ability or improve your ability about your uh, nervous system and your consciousness. Because every movement we have to pay attention to how to your hands, arms, how to move. And you will try to find the feeling from the ground, the inner power from the legs to the hands, then turn, think. So that's the, the way our, our practice about uh, Tai Chi. That's the key point. So 
no matter we practice different forms, different styles, Tai Chi, the, we always following these principles. Okay, uh, that's a, a little bit, uh, how to say, uh, uh, philosophy thinking about uh, uh, Tai Chi, but uh, we always following this way to practice. Okay. Um, about uh, the function about uh, Tai Chi, there are many uh, uh, scientists do a lot of research about Tai Chi, but in the West, they, their research, their study about the Tai Chi is different, uh, uh, different with the, the Chinese uh, in, uh, in the East because the, 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 the way of thinking is different. In the West, uh, we are, our study focused on the function about uh, our health, our mind, uh, our emotion. Um, so they, 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 their study is more, uh, how to say, close to the medicine, medical or medicine. Uh, but in China, our study about the Tai Chi, our way is uh, more like, uh, how to say, more like a philosophy, more like uh, uh, how to uh, uh, find the connect connection between your mind and your body. So that's the difference. Mm, okay, uh, today I will introduce some movement to to everybody. The, the, the first lesson we study about uh, Yun Shou, this movement uh, we call Yun Shou. Yun is, uh, um, how to say, cloud in the sky. So they, 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 we always change, they always uh, flowing. So Yun Shou, that means your, both of your hands, it's, uh, we do the movement from inside to outside. And also your, your body is always turned and your, your mm, feet is always like a move. We can move like this. We also can move in front or in back, in front, in back uh, for this uh, movement. It's a little bit uh, uh, complex. So it's a circle and how to use this circle I will invite my sister, Vivian, and uh, okay. When we practice Yun Shou, if someone, the fist come here, then we just use the circle like this. It's uh, how to say, we will use or borrow his weight up and turn my body, change the side change the angles. So this is like this. It's like turn like this. Th some, okay. So this is a circle. Then this here to take or like this. So every movement in Tai Chi has a Pacific how to say, protect and uh, uh, the, the heat, the, the, how to say, every movement. Okay, something like we do this. It's the first movement. Okay. Uh, okay, I, I know everybody maybe in the, uh, in front of the, your phone or your computer. So, uh, today we will teach um, some warm exercise. You can follow me or you just, uh, um, how to say, uh, watch the, 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 the video. So first we, the warm up we from um, your head, shoulder and your uh, spine and your hips and some uh, warm about uh, uh, make your body more soft. Okay. Uh, first, uh, we do the about the practice about your your neck. Okay. Okay. I will back. 
first pull your head to one side to the left side something like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay change the side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay next movement we push here push to the sky so you just uh, um <clears throat> look the sky then up one two three five six seven eight nine ten okay now uh why we need to uh do some uh warm exercise because this warm exercise it's um, uh how to say it's a benefit for to your spine and your shoulders so this can solve a lot of uh, the problem you know okay next one is you have to push down and turn try your best to turn back and look uh, back and look uh, how to say back and a little bit up and keep for 10 seconds Okay, change the direction. Okay, next, your shoulder. Follow me like this. Okay, then turn your arms, then your elbow go down. With the elbow go down, open your uh, arms. Okay, then your hands like this, cross this part, and your knee go forward and hands go back. Okay, then open. Okay, when you do this, it's a little bit hard. Your elbow should be go back. And this part try to try to touch your face. Then open your shoulder. Your shoulder is go back, it's open. And bend your spine to the backward, like this, to the backward. Okay. Then to cross and your neck go forward and this try to go back and up. Okay. If your shoulder has some problem, you can practice th this movement for uh, 50 times. Okay. 50 times. Okay. Then the next uh, movement also relax your shoulder is something like this, push down and make your shoulder up and down, up and down. So you, you follow me, it's um, more fast like this. Okay, and the third way about to relax your shoulder is to make your shoulder, try to your shoulder move like a circle from the back, from the forward to the back. Like this, close, up, open, go down. Close, up, open your shoulder, then sit down. Okay, this, circle you try to make the shoulder relaxed more than 10 times and then change the direction from the back up go forward and then close go down 
like this from other side. Okay, this is the three ways to relax your shoulder. Then neck, shoulder, the most important is your spine. So how to relax your spine? Uh, we have uh, three different ways. First, bend your spine like a circle, forward and back. So when you go forward, this part, try to close keep this part and this part go forward. So then you can, um, how to say, uh, make your spy bend like a bow. So when you bend your knee, not go forward, but this part not go back, just uh, go down. Make your spy like this, then up slowly. Okay, upside way, this part go back. Again. <coughs> Once more. Okay, when you do this, it's uh, at least 30 times, you know. So we, you, you can do slowly, or you can also can do more fast like this. This uh, relax your spine, this is uh, the first way. The second way is turn different size like this one or this one or you can turn your body like this. This is the second way, it's more simple. And the third way is a little bit uh, complex. It's uh, make your spy more soft. It's like, uh, how to say, more soft, like this, relaxed, and then a little bit to sit down. Then you the strings, and this part go forward like this. When you do this, okay, when you stand up, uh, you, you will try to pull back something and your spy need to like this. So we go up and this part go back, go, go forward. Then try to make the power up and uh, go forward. So it need your body relaxed. And also you try to find the inner uh, strength across your body, use your spine like this. Okay. The last mm, part is about uh, your hips and your, how to say, your, your strength. Uh, normally, we practice uh, the hips like this. Turn your foot and keep your knee not move. And your hips turn and go forward and then back. Your weight cannot go forward or back. Just uh, make this part not move. And this part, like a circle, go forward and back. Forward and back, okay? And not stand up. Keep in the same level and turn. So try to this side from this, okay? Turn about 45 degree and keep this not move. Go forward, okay, back, go forward, back, and your hips turn. 
you know? And uh, when you go forward, and it's not like this, but open this part, this part is open. It's like this. Okay, this will practice your hips because hips is very important when we practice Tai Chi. Okay, last is about uh, try to make your legs more longer. So we just uh, like do that like this. Okay, that's a simple warm uh, exercise. So you can do it every morning, every place, any time. It's a, uh, how to say, uh, after one or two weeks, you will find your body change is different. So this, uh, it's a very simple, it's easy to learn. And uh, how many times we have? Okay. Now we try to practice Yun Shou. It's a, uh, how to say, every different style Tai Chi and different uh, forms Tai Chi include this movement. We call this the first Tai Chi movement because it can change, can change different. So how to practice this? It's a uh, try to, Open this about uh, two or three distance. Then this part sit back, okay? And one hand is up and one hand is here. Then turn your body. When you turn, your hands also turn together. So when you turn right side, then your right hands turn to push. Okay, then up, this side is down, this is up. Okay, then push, go forward and your right hand go back. Okay, then move your weight, turn left. Okay, then up and down, go forward and go back, then turn. First, we, 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 how to say, you just uh, try to make your body as a, how to say, it's not just the, the arms movement, it's a whole body turn. Okay, it's about the, you also can turn this side, up, you also can turn this part. We call it Yun Shou. Then we want to move. First, we learn how to move on one side. So just like this, when your step, like this, you push. Okay, then sit down. When you sit down, the hands, one side is up, one side is pushed down. Then turn your weight. Okay, then follow the step, push up and down, turn, push. Okay, we from the back, push up and down. A little bit, go forward your uh, right hand, then turn, move your weight. 
okay, when you follow this step, just push, but keep your, your, your level not stand up. Okay, this, the, your right side goes down and the left part go up. Then turn, move your weight. Okay, when you open your step, push. Okay, then up. Turn. Your, your step touch the ground, then your right hand goes down. Left hand take up and go forward a little bit, then turn. You open your step, the string is pushed forward. Up, down, not to move your weight uh, too fast. When you finish this movement, then this leg, give a little bit of strength, then push your weight to move. Okay, push, follow the step. Okay. This movement we call yun shou. You just repeat it and just, uh, you can uh, from this side to this side, you also can from this side to this side. So, Every morning, morning we, uh, our team, our uh, team, the students practice this movement about uh, 50 times. So that is, uh, how to say, the basic movement in Tai Chi. Okay. Any questions? Okay, I have uh, the. Hmm? Okay, so uh, in, the, in the last few uh, minutes, I want to re repeat uh, the key point about uh, Taiji again. Um, <clears throat> we have a different. Um, uh, explanation about uh, Tai Chi in, in different uh, place, different uh, world, different people, they understand that Tai Chi is different. So Tai Chi has become a popular sport because Tai Chi has a great function about uh, our body, about uh, our mind and uh, our emotion. But the key point is we practice Tai Chi, it's the purpose is uh, uh, for the improve our ability about uh, how to find a connection between the nervous system and your consciousness. So no matter how we practice different movements, the forms, our consciousness always following and uh, following the, 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 the body. And the body always cooperates with the consciousness. That's the key point. So the consciousness can influence people's body, physical body, and also your emotion. That also can influence people's health. So that's the key point. So no matter the, the, the forms, so you, you can practice with your own Tai Chi with any forms, any movement. So, because the movement is so um, hard to learn. So when you do, when you walk something like this, you walk, you can make soft and slowly and make your consciousness to follow in the, your, your movement. So that is also the Tai Chi. So that's the key point. So you can, uh, you can, Practice your own Tai Chi. It's belong you. You just uh, make your keep your mind on how to find the connection between your movement and your consciousness. Okay, 
Thank you. Okay. Uh, in the last time, we'll show the different style Tai Chi, not the styles, okay? Okay. Mm. It's a Chen style Tai Chi, it's also the traditional one, but the styles is different. Okay, welcome to China. Welcome to China, learn traditional Tai Chi. Thank you. See you next time. 再见.